Ladies and dudes that smell their farts, Discord released themes. If you go to your user settings and you go to appearance, you now have themes. And of course, this is a Nitro only feature, but I'm going to show you each one of these themes. Then I'm going to show you a secret theme that is a little Easter egg. And finally, I'm going to show you how to get all these themes for free. So let's start off with the themes in themselves. You can preview them if you don't have Nitro, you can click on them. There's a couple of nice light mode themes. I've already kind of been through this, so I'm going to speed run a couple of these, but they look pretty good. The light mode ones I really like, but when we get into dark mode, they kind of look very boring land if I'm gonna be honest really not my uh, type but as we click through these themes we end up on under the sea now if you pressed each one of these themes in order and you had nitro then you can unlock this special hidden memory lane theme and this video is by netcrafty on reddit but they just click through all the themes and when you click on the final one you get a nice little pop-up here of memory lane and it looks just like this now for the people like myself that just don't want to buy discord nitro then we have an alternative we can use yes we are going to use something called vencord you thought I was going to say better Discord, but I tricked you there. Now, I should make it clear that using Vencord or any other Discord client modification does break Discord's terms of service, but honestly, in my personal opinion, you should be fine and you shouldn't worry because I haven't seen anyone get banned for using Vencord or better Discord in a while, and Discord really doesn't care if I'm going to be completely honest. If they did care, I would have been banned long, long ago. However, I would not use this if getting banned would cripple your life or your business. So for me, it might not be the best idea because if my Discord account gets banned, I'm in a little bit of trouble because I'm a discord youtube guy but if you're just someone that talks on the internet i honestly won't even worry about any of this so enough with the chitter chatter first link in the description is this github page and we just want to scroll down and click on this download vencord installer and when you click on this installer page you basically have a couple things you can do if you're on windows you just click on the exe if you're on linux you do all the linux stuff like basically typing out a paragraph to install your browser and if you're on mac os you probably can't even open youtube because you don't know how to use a computer but anyways with windows i'm going to click on vencord installer.exe and chrome is trying to say it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. It is okay. So I'm going to click on the little arrow, click on keep, and click on install. Now when you click on open, you might get Windows telling you to protect your PC. Just click on more info and run anyways. And if you're sketched out by an exe file, you can always run it through VirusTotal. You can go through the GitHub code and compile it yourself. Do all that nerdy stuff. It's okay though. It's clean. But once you open up the installer and do all that stuff, you should get this Vencord installer thing and you need to select an install to patch. And this is basically what version of Discord are you you running. So if you just downloaded Discord and you don't know what stable, PTB, or Canary means, just click on install. And if you want, you can actually install OpenSR, which is really good, but I'm just going to stick with the normal Discord install so it's plain and simple for everyone, but just click on install. Now, if you get this wonderful error, failed to patch this install, it's because your Discord is open, so you will need to close it. Then after you close Discord, you may need to go to your system tray on the bottom right, and then just look for Discord, right-click it, and click quit Discord, and you should be all good to go and continue on with the installer. Now, once you click install again it should say successfully patched and all you need to do is just open up discord now once you open up discord go to your user settings and you scroll down and you should see this vencord tab now this is very important right there is this themes tab but it's a little complex and if you just want the normal discord appearance themes that i've talked about then it's actually extremely easy and in fact i'm recording this after i recorded the whole video because i figured it out but go to the plugins tab then type in fake and look for fake nitro enable fake nitro click the big nice beautiful restart button and once discord restarts all you need to do is go to your user settings just go to appearance and look at that i can click on preview themes i can click on mint apple the theme i wanted oh so bad click back to settings i mean i got themes look at my profile here there ain't no discord nitro this is just part of vencord being vencord and uh i mean since you have fake nitro i mean you could also just you know send uh custom emojis like this is custom name oh i'm about to send their emoji no, no big deal. Just sends the emoji. I mean, this is the power of client mods, you know? This is me introducing you to the sweet, succulent nectar that I've known about for oh so long. Now, let's say all these themes that Discord gave you aren't really tickling your fancy because they aren't customizable and it's just, I mean, these aren't as good as they can get, right? Well, of course, Vencord does have a theme section. And in this theme section, if you go to the second link in the description, guess what you get? You get themes on better Discord. And you can actually use these themes on on Vencord. It's not as straightforward as I'd like it to be, but as it is right now, what you can do is you can look for a theme that you want. So I'm going to look at Couve and YouTube Nation because they're two different kind of approaches to installing it. But if you go to YouTube Nation, and this is usually what most themes will be like, you'll have to click on source down here. It'll open up GitHub and we need to look for a theme.css file. So 
in these GitHub files, they could be anywhere. But thankfully, this is labeled good enough where I can click on my theme collection. And there are a whole bunch of theme.css files. I'm looking specifically for YouTube Nation, so it's going to be at the bottom. You want to click on the theme that you want from GitHub, then click on raw. And once you click on raw, your URL should be raw.github user content. It should be all this code. You want to copy this URL, control C, go back to Discord, make sure you're in Vencord themes, and you want to paste in the theme link. And once you click off, kaboom! Look at that. I am now in this new theme. And one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes themes are weird in terms of light mode and dark modes. So if I'm on light mode, it looks good. If I'm on dark mode, I think it also looks good. But with themes, you always have to kind of do a little bit of trial and erroring. As you can tell, it looks pretty good. A couple of visual bugs, but generally speaking, it is a whole different theme that Discord isn't giving us. Now, if you're super gamer lucky and you have a theme like Kuv, which is honestly my favorite Discord theme of all time, if you click on their source and you scroll down, you might get lucky because in their GitHub, they might actually have a little installation link that you can use. The previous one didn't have it, but thankfully this theme does. And you can just copy this URL and go back into Discord, then go to your user settings, scroll on down to themes. Where is it? There we go. Now you do need to delete your previous theme and make sure that it is completely empty. Then you can paste in your new Kuv theme, click on it and kaboom, baby. Oh, so beautiful. It even has a light mode too, which is honestly too bright for my eyes. That actually gets hurts. The dark mode is where it's at. I like this a lot more. But anyways, that is how you get custom themes. And I mean, since we're using a client mod anyways, I might as well point out that there are a lot of plugins in here that are extremely useful. For example, custom RPC, you can make your own custom rich presence, which I have like 30 videos on. We have fake nitro, which allowed us to send, you know, nitro emojis and stickers. And we have friend invites where you can create little discord invite links that will, when someone clicks on it, they will be your friend. And one that I really like using is plain folder icon. You see these little folder icons where it doesn't show my servers? Uh, I used to have to do all that manually, but now I just turn this thing on and uh, I don't have to anymore. So that saves me a lot of time. But there are a lot of plugins that you can go through and you can read and figure out what they do. But generally speaking, there's a lot of fun stuff. So that's client modification. Hopefully it opens up your eyes a little bit. But if you want to weasel back into the safety of your own home, then I'll show you how to uninstall Vencord. Now, I want to show you something that I always want people to use. When you go to your window, Windows settings, disable minimize to tray. So whenever you close Discord, it fully closes Discord. Ever so convenient, right? But then what you want to do is you want to go back and open up the Vencord installer. And to be honest, this icon, fellas, this is not it. That's a really bad icon. But anyways, when you open up the Vencord installer, you should see this little patch tag. You want to click on that and make sure it's enabled and click on install. And it should say successfully unpatched if Discord is fully closed. If it's not, then you need to go to your tray and close it again like I showed you. But once it opens up, I go to my user settings and as you can tell there is no more Vencord. It is all over. Anyways sweetheart have fun with client mods because to be completely honest a Discord is like a whole different ball game with them. I actually kind of fell in love again <laughs> after using Vencord because I haven't used client mods in a very long time. Anyways bye bye sweetheart. I love you. Mm -hmm.